Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Both work and material resources can have default costs and or pay rates associated with them. This helps you record the costs associated with finishing tasks. This information helps keep your project within its financial constraints and also improves the future cost estimates involved with different types of project tasks. You can enter the default costing information of a resource directly in the Resource Sheet view of a project file. For work resources that are also people resources, you can enter their default pay rates into the Standard Rate and Overtime Rate fields in the Resource Sheet view. For material resources, you can enter a rate based on the use or consumption of the material resource. Many times, this information is entered into the Cost Per Use field. However, you can also specify a standard rate for material resources if needed. Conversely, you can also input a cost per use for people resources, although this is less commonly used for people resources. Also, if desired, you can select a resource from the resource sheet view and then click the resource information button in the properties button group on the resource tab in the ribbon to open the resource information dialog box. In this dialog box, you can click the Costs tab to enter detailed costing information. On the Costs tab, you can set detailed costing information you cannot set by using the cells available in the Resource Sheet view. On the Costs tab, you can enter the same rate information available in the Resource Sheet view. However, you can also specify different rates based on different dates by entering the date the new rates are to take effect into the Effective Date column and then entering the new rates as of that date. Notice that you are entering this information into tab A within the Costs tab. Also note that there are four other tabs that you can use to enter different pay rate tables. The different pay rates shown in the different tables help you use different pay rates for different types of work the work resource can perform. For example, this helps if a single work resource can earn one pay rate for painting and another pay rate for roofing. In this case, enter the two rates on the two tabs, A and B, and then switch the rate based on which task is being performed. Also note that for costing data, you can indicate when the cost is incurred by using the Cost Accrual dropdown. This tells Microsoft Project when to report the costs as incurred for this resource. The default value is prorated, which means the cost appears as the work is finished. However, you can also incur the entire cost at the start or end of the assigned task. After setting the desired costing data on the Costs tab of the Resource Information dialog box, click the OK button in the dialog box to save the changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.